So while you're doing all of this, coming out of the 1960s into the early 1970s, we are going to the moon. Now. Are you are you thinking about that at all? Because I, I don't notice any science in your storytelling, but it's in the news. So did did it ha did you reflect on that in any way privately oh my or? God, that is such a good question. <laughs> that is such a good question. Here's as close as I've come. I've had in mind for a good many years. It happens a character in mind. He's 11 years old. And he knows everything about climate change. Pain in the ass to everybody because he can't, but he knows it all. Cold. Funny as hell. And uh, I hope, I, I might be doing it myself in a show. Uh, because I haven't been able to convince anybody else to put it in their show. I, I, I was giving away the idea. If so this would be would the climate it. change kid. I like the uh, I, I like the appellation, the climate change kid. Climate change. So that would be a person who is sort of everyone's conscience, I guess, who shows up. Yeah. That he, annoys you with he would these. Just leave and you want to discount him because he's a kid, but you know you can't because he's really done his homework on this. Right. And because he said something that suddenly, oh, I, n I never, I've, I've heard it, but I've never really heard that. Mm -hmm. But you, he, comedy is like an intravenous in that way. You know, you're laughing and you're laughing, but it's leaving something behind that can do one a lot of good, a thought. Okay, a so, so this, is, this is the modern Norman Lear thinking of issues in our culture today that people need to deal with, mm -hmm. and you're thinking up a show for it. That's great. So we need you to come back. That's what... Yeah, keep the door open. Keep okay. the door open. Keep <laughs> waving. <laughs>